morning guys <laughs> i did not wash my hair last night um i woke up like 15 minutes ago it is like 7 a.m at the moment guys we are going to the we're going to long beach fleet today should be a lot of fun i don't want to get up though i love my bed i love my helix mattress today's video is sponsored by helix guys um if you haven't heard of Helix or you don't know about them, you need to know. Let me give you a little insight and let's get ready. Let's get up and get ready. Getting a good night's rest before a long day of antique shopping is always the way to go. And as many of you guys know, I adore my Helix mattress. If you have never heard of Helix before, they are a premium mattress in a box company, meaning that the mattress is shipped directly to your doorstep in this box that you see here. And it comes rolled up. All you have to do is go ahead and unroll it and it will fluff up immediately, which is amazing. And it's crazy how they could fit this in a box because the mattress truly is such an incredible quality. Now, one of my favorite features that Helix has is their sleep quiz because you can actually insert your very own personal body preferences in sleep positions that you prefer and it will pair you up with a mattress that they believe is perfect for your body type and ship it directly to your door. I have used Helix mattresses in my own room. My roommate Marie, as you guys know, has one as well. My grandpa has one. My parents have one. Literally everyone in my life has a Helix mattress and we love them so, so much. So as you can see here, it just pops right out of the box and it starts fluffing up almost immediately once you unwrap it, which is kind of fun. And then you have a full-on mattress that came packed in a box, which is absolutely crazy. And the great thing about Helix too is I know that purchasing a mattress can be a big commitment, but they do have a 10-year warranty and they offer flexible financing options. So if you want to do a payment plan or something, along with a 100-day sleep trial. So if it's not for you, they'll actually come pick up your mattress. And no, you do not have to fit it back in the box at all. So I definitely think if you're in the market for a mattress, you should check out Helix. You can head to helixsleep.com slash Drew Scott to get up to $200 off plus two free pillows. Good morning. Bright and early. It is like 9 a.m. It looks like it's like 6 a.m. right now. We came with the cart, the blankets, extra bags, extra bags lots of carrying options for items. Oh my gosh, Brittany actually found this cute little rug. Look how pretty. And when she sent me a photo of this, I was like, this would be so cute in the new house. I don't really know where, but it was just a small little rug and yeah, like a bathroom or just somewhere, but I loved the colors of it. So cute. I love this brown edge. Yeah, it's very like moody. Yeah, it's like perfect for like a Spanish style, I feel like. Love it. Drew's first time at Long Beach. <laughs> I'm looking for yes, we are gonna find all the things. Fill this cart 10 to 12 times. Minimum. Yes, let's do it. They're not even one second in, and you found something. But these are pretty. These look so pretty. Hi! <laughs> yes? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. They're gorgeous. They really are. Those are like crazy. I've never seen one like that. I already am spotting a lone fox. Look. She also got a gift with purchase. Old so money. old money. I love these shades. So pretty. booth was made for me. Stained glass. Wow, look at that one up there. I was looking for that actually. It's giving to <laughs> we got this. Look how this pretty is this is. Thank you. Is really Yay, cool. I'm already filling up my cart. <laughs> yeah, you already found two things. I see something. I see something that I need. These ladies were holding these textiles. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. Aren't they beautiful? Uh, yes, I had to come see what you were looking at. Yeah, we're crazy. Wow. These are so gorgeous. I've just been loving these colors and textures lately. I don't know which ones to get. I'm gonna get a couple, you know, honestly. I decided on one, you guys. I think this one's really pretty. Oh, look at this. This one or this one? I like them both. I like them both. Definitely gonna get this one. Love. That's a pretty one too. I just don't know. Okay, I want this one too, the one that you like. <laughs> so pretty. 
I think they're all like African mud cloths. So a runner, a table runner. I actually love that. I even kind of honestly like the back side with the stitching. Yes, I say yes. I'm gonna get it because okay. I'll use it as fabric if I don't use it as this. I don't know if we like this one. Which one do we like, guys? Oh, I do like that one. This one's good too. I do. But I also I'm... like the one with little slits in it. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> do we get them all? It's a good problem to have, though. <laughs> Look what I found the table runner, the two pieces of fabric, this. It's, it's one of kind of spotted some bases. Look at those. Guys, it's only fifty dollars. I actually love it. I don't like the glossy finish though. How great are these carved chairs? Oh, I'm obsessed with this one. I actually kind of like this one though. It's a little bit more brown, not as red. Look how great the back of the chair is. I got two of these. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but they're so pretty. Just a little trip to the car. We actually reparked our car close to the exit, like the exit's right here, so that we could uh, carry our items closer to the car. Hi, how are you? Ooh, Thank you. I know, that's what I was looking at that one. Everything comes from different states of Mexico. Wow. Beautiful. I love that tile. I got this jug and this one. So cute. With a literal corkscrew. And you get 40 for both, which I think is a pretty good deal. Made it to the rugs. We love the rugs. Oh, so pretty. Wow. Like the blues. Yeah, they're very. That's really pretty. Yeah. One of the hardest colors to make is indigo blue. I got some snacks. One pretzel for you. Lamp. Uh, it's only 45. I kind of am living for that. I had to get the lamp for 40. It was so cool. I don't have a, a specific spot for it, but I'm sure I'll find somewhere. Just gonna take the so these, the shade off. These three, um, you don't want to lose them. You can find them, but it's just a pain in the ass. <laughs> Do we like her? I do. It's fun. Imagine it lit up too. all day. I have been so preoccupied by all of the items we've been finding. Been finding so much stuff, you guys. And I'm gonna get back to finding more. This is what I want to do with that fabric that I got, guys. Like, make some pillows like that. I love that. I think I'm gonna grab this really big terracotta pot as well. It has like a beautiful kind of patina to it. But it's 129, which I feel like is a pretty good deal. It is large, guys. Like, that's for a tree. These wooden doors. Wow. Ah, uh, look at the chain, too. Oh my gosh. These are great. Wow, this is so pretty. You guys, look at this vanity. I was just at this booth and I looked down and see this little guy. Are you gonna smile? <laughs> Are you gonna smile for him and get your picture? Probably not. I'm running because there's a booth that I want these two antique water jugs out. He's gonna sell them to me for $250 and he said that they're online for $900. 
which sounds like a good deal. And basically what happened was I walked by his booth a couple hours later. He was packing up and offered the set for $100 cheaper. I Google Lens him, found this set for $1,300 online and found a similar one that sold for $800. So I thought $250 for the set was great. And honestly, they were really large and beautiful. I have to go to the ATM because he only takes cash and they're closing in five minutes. What are we doing? I'm just wheeling my chair very badly to the car. <laughs> that was crazy. Insane. First time, well, you've been here before. Yeah, yeah. once. This was my first time ever at the Long Beach Flea, and I will say it's actually a really great flea yeah. market. So if you have the opportunity to check it out, I highly suggest doing so. They have lots of clothes, lots of furniture, lots of fun so items. Um, but we are going to head our own ways. Brittany's over in Oceanside. I'm over in okay. LA. Pick a house, any house. LA. <laughs> LA today. <laughs> um, but I will catch you guys in the next one. Actually, I'll probably see you in a little bit. Bye. <laughs> Good morning guys, look where I am today. This is Olive Atelier, which I, they actually ended up DMing me. I've seen a couple people post this place on TikTok and I never thought I'd be able to go and visit it. I didn't even know it was in LA, but it is stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Look at all of these items, you guys. I just got here right now, so I'm gonna do some looking around. These are our antique sinks from Turkey. They are from the 18th century and they were salvaged from Turkish bathhouses. Oh my gosh. But this scalloped edge, this looks like a literal photo shoot. And look how beautiful this huge tree is in the middle. All of these ceilings and these places I've been going to lately have been incredible. I feel like I mention that every video about how much I love the ceilings. I'm so overwhelmed in here. There's so much. This is so, so crazy. I cannot believe how much stuff there is here. Oh my gosh, she brought me to the back. And guys, look at these sinks. I need one for that vanity upstairs. I made a little selection. I couldn't go too crazy, but I did get this board because how pretty would that be styled in the kitchen somewhere? And I also got this beautiful terracotta pot with the two handles on it. I love the shape of that one. I thought it would be like a nice little floor base or something. Okay, this is way deeper than I thought that it was. Um, this is hard to do with one hand, but let me see. Okay, so we have 20 inches. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we have 20 inches of workspace. Morning, I'm drinking my pumpkin candle coffee. Getting used to it. Um, anyways, I you guys should be very, very excited because I got a DSLR suction cup camera mount for my car and we are going to install this because as you guys know i've been filming a lot in my car and i'm a very safe driver i've never gotten in a car accident i've never hit anything i've never done anything vehicle wise knock on wood um there's no wood to knock on We are mounted in the car and we are on our way. I'm actually headed right now to Olive Atelier, which I went there yesterday, if you guys remember, but uh, I didn't end up getting one of those sinks because I didn't know the top, the size of the vanity, so I wanted to measure that. And I just also wasn't sure if I wanted one, and so I went home last night and started doing like a little bit of research as to how much they cost if this was like a decent deal, you know? And I couldn't really find anything comparable at all. I found like more like newer ones, not actual antique ones on Etsy, 
and they were still pretty pricey themselves. So I'm gonna head back right now and see if anything piques my interest. I know the actual dimensions now, so I wanna see because I do need a top mount sink for that vanity anyways. And if you guys remember, it's the vanity that I got from St. Vincent to Paul and I got it for 200 bucks. So I feel like I could splurge a little bit on the sink because the vanity I got for such an affordable price. So we'll see. This is the sink that she put on hold for me yesterday, which was so kind. How stunning is this? I love how it looks like a big chunky rock, but it's just a basin. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to, of course, add a hole here, but we shall see. Brought me to the back area and you guys look at this sink. It would fit on top. Is this too much? Like, am I, am I doing too much? I don't know. <gasps> it's so pretty. And it has like this rock front to it. But then there's also this one. Wait, guys, look at this one. It would look like this. I selected a sink. And this sink just did it for me. I love how it's slanted down. So the water pours down this way. And then the water comes out of the side here. I just, I think that's so cool. I wonder if that means that it would normally have to go like that. I don't think so. I think I could still have it, the top come out the back because it would still flow downwards of the slant. Good. That's literally a boulder. <laughs> a full boulder. <laughs> I just made it home, but I have to admire this sink for a little bit longer. This is so beautiful. This is the showstopper in the bathroom for sure this is what i'm designing the bathroom around like i found the piece and i i can't believe i've been finding so much stuff so quickly it probably weighs about 250 pounds it took two guys almost three to put this in the back of the car and i'm gonna have to figure out how to get it out so that's gonna be fun there is absolutely no way that sink is getting out of my car today. I tried to like see if I can even make it budge a bit and it would not even move. I'm, I actually don't know how I'm gonna get it out so I'm gonna have to figure that out. But I did wanna go ahead and stop by the house because I wanted to share with you guys the items that I did find at the antique store. Now, not everything I purchased is going to be going in this home. Of course, I have quite a few rooms to fill up um, but I do also work on other projects now and then and friends places and stuff. And now that I have more space, of course that means more storage for more decor and more items to utilize in future projects. So let me share with you guys what I got. So I got this little stool here and I think it's just so cute. I don't know where it's gonna go. I, it's just a little styling stool. It can either go in like a bookcase or we can use it as a stool or maybe like buy a bathtub with like a candle on it or something cute. I just liked the shape and the detail on the leg. And then I got this, which Brittany actually texted me a photo of this. She's like, I found this rug. What are your thoughts? It was $50 and I loved it. I thought the colors were so pretty. I also love how it wasn't perfectly um, symmetrical. I liked how there was like this little section here. So if I wanted to utilize it, maybe this way going through like a hallway or even just something to think about, um, like a little kind of transfer rug, if you will. See that like that? I got these two incredible pieces of fabric, which I definitely want to convert these into pillows. I loved this one. I thought it was just perfect. And then this one here, I also loved because this one actually has some texture to it. And I feel like this one actually looks aged as well. So I got those two. And then I got this, which is so freaking long. Like, look how big this is, you guys. I am a solo team today. So sadly, I can't really share everything. Large runner. And could you imagine this on that antique dining table I have? You guys I just love this fabric and even if I don't use it as runner I could separate it into different squares and you can kind of see the square panels and turn them into pillows maybe look at all that hand stitching on the back I just couldn't let this go to a different area like I, I really really love the graphic pattern but still how it kept with the kind of natural look of the fiber and the handmade element with the stitching of course we have the big jugs I also got these I had to get them I mean just look at the detail on these and they are so big I bet you they're probably about 26 inches tall a piece and I love how they were a pair because I think I'm gonna probably style them together I also got this pot which I do love but I'll probably end up keeping this for a different project because I do have have one very similar to this already so we'll kind of see how that goes and back behind all of that was the breadboard that I got from Olive Atelier I just loved this like look at the handle you guys and like all of the distressing on here I thought it'd be a perfect styling piece even for photos because I do shoot food photos quite often so even just for photo styling I thought that would be a nice piece and then of course we have these little cuties I got this little pitcher here which I just thought this was insane beautiful this lamp was just $20 but I love the ceramic and 
And what kind of sold me, honestly, was the bottom. I just love how it said stone for some reason, and I love how it's made of that kind of speckled clay, and the interior is so pretty as well. So I got that, this nice vase here, and this, those were 40 for the set. And my chairs, I forgot to share with you guys the chairs. Look at these. Now I actually did some research and I found out what these chairs were because I didn't know at the time. These are African birthing chairs. They're called African birthing chairs, which I could assume means they're for having birth, but I do love them. I love them so much. They are so unique. I love the little legs on the back here, the carving. It's just beautiful. See like I, something about the chair is just so, ah. It's so great and it's super comfortable too. I love it. The thing that I love about these chairs and what kind of sold me is these are chairs that can be visually appealing from every angle. So if you put this in like the center of a room or around a coffee table or something, these of course are gonna be interesting from the back, they're interesting from the side, they're interesting from the front. This is like a 360 chair that can go anywhere and anyone's gonna like it. Again, not sure if they're gonna be particularly for this home. I do think I might style them in here somewhere. I did like the fact that you could pull this bottom part out, so for storing them, it's quite a bit easier. I love how the bottom just slides in like this that's the entire chair. And honestly, friends, that's everything for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed antique shopping with me and heading to all of Atelier's. That was such a fun place to shop around and even just look around for inspo, such a beautiful area. And I also have to say that if you wanna check out the Long Beach Antique Market, I highly recommend it. They have so much. We did not even get through probably half of it. Sometimes antiques can be extremely expensive. Sometimes they could be, you know, more affordable. And I would say this place has a good mix of a price range, but leaning more on the lower end, which is amazing. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. It is so hot in here. We still can't turn on the air. There's still some plaster work being done. They're actually starting to redo the drywall in the kitchen upstairs from when I removed all the tile which is super exciting because we are going to start on the kitchen first honestly guys we might even go into the bathroom first with how this is going who knows we'll have to see but i'll catch you in the next one and lastly don't forget to check out helixsleep.com slash drew scott for up to 200 off your mattress plus two free pillows